Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. In today's video, we're going to be building a train and a track for it to go on. This video was requested by Moen Boyds. Can you make a video going over how to make tracks and get the train set in them? I want to do a small cart in survival. And that is what we're going to do today. So we're going to be using Ronnie Dude's bullet train as the example, as that works very well going along tracks. And we're going to start by building a small little vehicle to go along it. So what I've done is I've plopped a light armoured block in the ground and I'm simply going to follow that along with some more blocks. Next we're going to need to go across and build another row like that and then we're going to just remove that block in the middle. This is where our train is going to sit because we need a one block gap in the middle to have those vertical wheels in there to keep it aligned. Although you don't actually have to have them, it is nice to use. So next we're going to need to put a rotor down like so and we're going to need to destroy the rotor head put down a control panel somewhere, doesn't matter where, just plop it down, find the rotor and add a small head, also just rotor lock that. So now we have a small head on the rotor, we can now build some blocks. I've just got to quickly change the colours so it's nice and easy and we're going to build it up. It doesn't really matter how high you go, let's say six. And this is where we're going to build the small cart off. So that's going to go along like that and that's going to be the basis of the cart. So I'm going to activate mirror mode, that's now active. And so I'm just going to double this up. Like so. And then I'm going to do it one more time. From here this is where you can build the large 3x3 three three wheels. So making sure it goes upside down. In fact I don't even know if that's upside down or the correct way. But you want to put some wheels there. Another wheel there. Another wheel like that, so they're touching each other. And like that. So now we have a small vehicle. Next we're going to need to make sure that we are three blocks high. This means there's enough gap between the wheels and of course the passageway, which is how the little car's going to go along. And then once you're here, it doesn't really matter what you do. You could just build, build it across like that. Fairly simple, you just build off a small rotor, go two blocks out, put some wheels on, three blocks up and then you're safe to build on top of that. As for the vertical wheels, you can add them in if you want, I will just quickly go over how you do that. So we're going to need to remove these blocks here because the wheels will not spawn in if you do it. We're going to get the one by one wheels and we're going to turn it so they're sitting like that. And then of course the wheels spawn in and then you can replace the blocks in like so. Now I'm just going to quickly do that on the other side and with that you're basically done for a small cart. I'm just going to add a cockpit on there, let's just turn off mirror mode. So one cockpit on there, I'm just going to activate the parking brakes and then it's time to drop this into the blocks. So I'm just going to remove them, remove that, remove that, remove that and of course remove the rotor which is sitting right there. And now the car is just sitting on the steel blocks. Just going to put some power on here. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You can put reactors on it if you're in creative. You can put a battery and a solar panel if you are in survival. Or you can use a reactor if you're that far. It's up to you. Hydrogen engine also works well. But I'm just going to use that for an example. Next will be how we get it into the track. So I'm just going to build out these blocks a bit more. And then we're going to switch over to the passageways. Now the passageways are going to be a little bit iffy because you need to ram it up there. So I'm going to build the passageways out so there's a single block between them. Like so. So before I put it onto the passageways, which is the actual track itself, I'm just going to very quickly rename some of the wheels. So all these wheels here are going to be the ones going along the side. I'm just going to label them as wheel one and save them as a block group. And then for the four vertical wheels which are going to hold us in place on the track and keep us nice and straight. I'm going to make that into another group and call that wheels two. And now it's going to be the case of getting this onto the passageways and then adjusting these wheels here until they're just touching the edges of the blocks. So I'm just going to undo the parking brakes like that and now I'm just going to ride it on 
to here. If you do get a little bit stuck like I have there, you might need to raise the wheels up a little bit. But I'm just going to ram this in as best I can. And then I need to adjust these wheels here so they're just touching the passageways. So I'm going to come across the wheels too and I'm going to offset the height. And once you've adjusted these wheels so they're just touching the edges of the passage, we're going to come across, find them again, and max out the power strength of them. This way, it's going to keep it locked firmly to the track. And of course, one last thing before I continue on with building the passage. If you want to build another trailer, let's just go and find my blocks. Just going to connect them up and connect that up so it all looks pretty. I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to find the rotor, plop the rotor down like that, just put another control panel somewhere on this thing, just so I can access the rotors. I want to make sure there is a rotor lock on there while I'm building this. And then I'm going to build another rotor, coming off it, facing another direction, like so. Come across to it, find the other rotor, lock that in place. And then once we've got this rotor facing in this direction, we want one final one, facing upwards and then we can build off this so this is going to be the next cart so coming across like that and then leaving a small block gap in between that should be more than enough to keep it nice and safe we're just going to come down and build another thing and then it's time to build this cart it doesn't have to be anything fancy let's just build like that building it like that so then there's one block there Two blocks thick, of course, because that's the middle, like so. And this block can now come up three, like that. That's how I know that this is now safe to go along with the cart. So that's the nice safe building area on top of there. Then I come back to the wheels, just go and plop them. Ooh, I don't know, how do I want to plop these? Like that, like that, like that. Like that, and like that. And that'll be the second cart. Then of course I can do the same thing with the 1x1 wheels, and that is just remove these blocks here and here, face them out, plop them in, and then I can just drive this onto the track. Parking brake is off. On it goes. Parking brake is on. I can now come back to the rotors. Turn off these, no need to have the rotor locks on anymore. And that is basically it for the carriage. You just connect it up with rotors. The only problem you're going to find is because it's wheels and because it's rotors, you're not going to be able to move. So what you need to add to the carriage are thrusters, atmospheric thrusters. I'm just going to put two there, two more, a little bit further behind, and that should be more than enough to get this thing moving like that. So for the track, I'm just going to build this out and I'll build that one out to there. But unfortunately, there's a ton of crap in the way. Part of my old designs, but I need to curve this track. So how am I going to do this? Well, we're going to need to make an aircraft because that's the way I did it in the Earth to Moon train. There might be a better way to do this, but I don't know, it just worked out well for me. So this is a small monstrosity of how to basically build a plane in order to build a track. If you were just building a straight track, you could use a land vehicle, basically do the same, block in the middle, passageways either side, and then wheels coming off this, but this is probably going to be an easier way. So I'm just going to fly this around, and I'm just going to align this up best I can, use third person to help, that's basically it. And then we want to make a corner, so I'm just going to very carefully... Very carefully, try and keep this in line, like so. It's basically good enough. So I've made sure there's a gap on the right hand side. I'm now going to convert this into a station. And then I'm just going to simply remove that block, remove that block. There we go. It's a little bit rough because I haven't really polished this. I'm just trying to bosh it out as quick as possible. And then if I want to continue on with the track, I can then just build a block down from this thing, like so. I can then build the track. If I just go put mirror mode back on, 
want to put a track like that. And then just build that along a little bit more out the back there. Take control of this once more. Find where I put that corner. And then just continue on like so. I hit into something there. So just gonna plop that on there. Adjust myself some sort of straight. It doesn't really matter too much. The wheels can handle quite a lot. Then if I come into third person, double check that. I can probably be a bit more aggressive with that corner. Like so, convert to a station. Hop out. Delete that block. Yes, I know convert to ship is not possible. I can now come to this. Convert to the ship. It is possible game. I just proved you wrong. Remove that out of the way. And now... Ooh, that might have been a bit of a big corner. It might work. It worked. If you wanted to go up or down instead of going left and right for the track, the principle remains the same. You'll simply just angle yourself so you're going up a little bit or down a little bit. Not too much. Because it depends on what you do with the actual vehicle itself. If you're too low down, you can hit into the track and you'll just get stuck on the slope. Or if you make your vehicle too big and that, it might cause problems with stability. So yeah, that is basically it for this video. It's a simple design, but it works really well if you can set it up. Make sure the wheels are at 100% strength. Make sure the height is just about the right. Just make sure you have a three block gap between each carriage if you are having multiple carriages as that alleviates a lot of problems especially on tight corners but as for that that is basically it you can do whatever the hell you damn well please so hopefully this is what you are after and this has been helpful and i'll be back with another space engineers video some point soon bye bye <laughs>